students, welcome to our second quarter module 5. The title is Sexual and Asexual Reproduction. Let's go! Sexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which the genetic materials from two different cells combine, producing an offspring. The cells that combine are called sex cells. For the female, it is called egg cell and for the male, it is called sperm cell. Fertilization, an egg cell and a sperm cell join together. A new cell is formed and is called a zygote. Advantages of sexual reproduction, diverse offspring, genetic variation among offspring. Half of the DNA comes from mom and half of the DNA comes from dad. Due to genetic variation, individuals within a population have slight differences. Plants resist diseases. Traits can develop to resist harsh environments that allows an organism to survive. Another advantage of sexual reproduction is the selective breeding. It is used to develop many types of plants and animals that have desirable traits. Agricultural farming, better plants, larger animals, desirable pets. Disadvantages of sexual reproduction Time and energy Organisms have to grow and develop until they are old enough to produce sex cells. Search and find a mate. Searching can expose individuals to predators, diseases, or harsh environmental conditions. Fertilization cannot take place during pregnancy, which can last as long as two years from some mammals. Here are some of the examples of sexual reproduction. A sexual reproduction, one parent. Organism produces offspring without fertilization. Uniform offspring. Because offspring inherit all of their DNA from one parent, they are genetically identical to each other and to their parent. Fission is an example of a sexual reproduction. Cell division in prokaryotes that form two genetically identical cells. DNA is copied. The cell begins to grow longer, pulling the two copies apart. The cell membrane pinches inward in the middle of the cell. Cell splits to form two new uniform, identical offspring. Examples, bacteria, E. coli, and pond critters. Another example of asexual reproduction is budding. When new organism grows by mitosis and cell division on the body of its parent, the bud or offspring is identical to the parent. The bud, when large enough, can break off the parent and live on its own. Offspring may remain attached and form a colony. Examples, yeast, hydra, and cactus. We also have regeneration for asexual reproduction. It occurs when an offspring grows from a piece of its parent. Producing new organisms. Examples are sea urchins, sea cucumbers, sponges, and planarians. Producing new body parts. Examples, we have newts, tadpoles, crabs, hydra, and zebra fish. Vegetative propagation is an example of asexual reproduction. Uniform offspring grow from a part of a parent plant. Parent plant sends out runners. Where the runner touches the ground, roots can grow. A new plant is produced even if the runner is broken apart. Each new plant is uniform and identical to the parent. Examples, strawberries, potatoes, ivy, and crabgrass. The advantages of asexual reproduction. It enables organisms to reproduce without a mate. No wasted time and energy. Enables some organisms to rapidly reproduce a large number of uniform offspring. Disadvantages of asexual reproduction Because their offspring are identical, there is no genetic variation that can give an organism a better chance for survival. Example, if a weed killer can kill the parent, it will also kill the offspring. Whole species can be wiped out from a disease. Dangerous mutations in DNA If the parent has the mutation in their DNA, 
the offspring will have it too. Here are some of the examples of asexual reproduction. And for your activity for today, all you have to do is to answer this Venn diagram. You are going to write the characteristics of sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. And in the middle, you are going to write their similarities. And we're done! The two types of reproduction are sexual and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, it involves two parents and produces offspring that are genetically unique, while asexual reproduction involves one parent and produces offspring that are genetically identical to each other and to the parent. If you have any questions, you can ask your science teacher or even me here in the comment section. Remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye!